Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we absolutely have to talk about Power World. The reason for this is because just recently a developer compared two different models, one being from Power World and the other being from Pokemon. First off, I do want to say these are some strong allegations and they do back up some sort of proof, but I would like to know what you all think by the end of this video. Not only that, but we're also going to be talking about various things in today's video. So with that being said, if this is your second time stopping by the channel, feel free to subscribe now. Now, and let's go ahead and dive right into this. First off, let's start off with some of the comparisons and where exactly this screenshot came from. This came from a gaming community on Reddit called the Gaming Circle Jerk. Yep, exactly. That's the Reddit gaming community name. Now, this screenshot comes from a user that you see on the screen here. This user by the name of MadDJS1 had this to say, seems like there's some proof that the game straight up has stolen 3D models. And if we take a look at the screenshot, you can see this right here. What you're going to be taking a look at here is a username that's been redacted of some sort. But anyways, this user had this to say, Power World is fun, the creatures are cute, but they stole assets. They should not be doing this. It's not proper dev ethics. That is all. I'm not saying the game is bad. I'm saying the devs did something bad. When you overlap the 3D models, the polys are the same. Then if you take a look at the images down below, they seem pretty comparable. What someone has done here is they've used Blender and compared the two models together and they fit perfectly. Continuing on, this user had this to say down below. This user continues on by saying, Look, if someone who has more time than me can compare some other models in Blender to prove slash disprove me, I would really like it. I just want to know if I can play the game without feeling bad about it. Then another reply down below on the screenshot by the same exact user said this right here. Seems like a lot of people are already doing the comparisons. This user right here was able to requote the tweet down below, and I was able to take a look at who exactly Eric Covetin is, and it's interesting, he's actually a developer. If you take a look on the screen here, it says Eric Covetin as his name on there, and then it says game designer, X Blizzard underscore ENT, PlayStation, and all that. And even down below, he has a tweet that says this right here. I am no longer at Blizzard Entertainment after almost nine years. I was on the Quest team for WoW. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off right there so you get the idea. This is a developer and he was able to compare some models. Because if you check out this tweet right here, it says two. Accidentally create a complex model with so near exact proportions is practically impossible. To repeat that improbability throughout your roster doesn't pass the sniff test. Okay, so let's see exactly what he's talking about here because he did include some comparisons, video footage, so it's better off if we all take a look at this together. And while we're taking a look at this, I would love to know what you exactly think down below. Now in this first video here, you're going to see that this user is comparing the two models one from PAL and one from Pokemon. You can tell that that looks pretty accurate. You might be thinking, why is it off just a hair? Well, here in a second, he's going to fix it. For example, right here, he's gonna move it on over, and what do you know, it looks perfectly proportionate as he just mentioned in his tweet. The interesting thing here is that there's nothing being said about this exactly from others, which is why I'm bringing this up. I'm not saying this is proof ultimately, but it does seem like it's pretty accurate on the proportions and the way that the models look, it looks pretty accurate, like they did still something. Anyways, let's continue on and take a look at this footage some more. You can see that it does look like it's the exact same acid. It's compared by the two different models, one from PAL and one from Pokemon, as I just mentioned a few seconds ago. So what's going on right now? Is this proof that they've been stealing assets? Possibly, it could very well be proof, including on the AI talk as well, which we'll get into that because one of the CEOs actually talks about AI. But let's go on and take a look at this other comparison here. This is another model compared one-on-one -on -one with the PAL world and Pokemon. Now, you can tell it looks pretty damn accurate. So again, I would love to know what you think about this exact information down below, because to me, it does seem like it's proof of some sort but again, I would love to know your opinions. Moving along here, we're going to check out what the CEO had to say exactly about AI and going past the copyright protections on it. For example, on here, you can see a tweet by the CEO, which says this right here. 
If you pass it through the filter of AI, the image is often not of a specific thing, so maybe the copyright issue will be resolved. I was surprised to see that the world is actually moving in that direction. In about 30 years, the general public's perception of copyright may have changed considerably. Then the next tweet, which is even more interesting, compares two different pictures. The one on the left is from a AI and the right one is from Pokemon. As you can tell, the right one's a little bit distorted and I think that's so that they can go past the copyright protections. But this CEO had this to say, the AI has evolved so much that I can no longer tell which one is Pokemon. Left Pokemon, like monster generated by AI. Right, real Pokemon. And then he, you know, obviously lists the names for the Pokemon. But there you go. This right here seems pretty fishy as well. But if we take a look at the last tweet here, this is by the same exact CEO. He had this to say. I recently saw the same thing in a video and had the same impression. We might see the true AI-powered games on GPT-4 this year. Now, this is where a lot of the assumptions come from as of late, especially with the newest proof out there with the uh, models being compared. Really odd stuff that that looks accurate. I mean, in all honesty, is using AI bad? No, not at all. But when you use it to go past copyright protections, yeah, that seems pretty bad, and it seems like they found a way to do so. If you were to ask me, it does seem like it's some sort of proof that they have potentially been stealing assets, but I cannot say that because I'm not a developer and I did not compare the models. Yet everything that we've seen so far does seem like it leans more into that, you know, copyrighted area, right? Because how do you compare the two models and it looks the exact same thing? That's the questionable part here. And if you have been working on mods or potentially you are a developer, let me know down below if this is something that's possibly a common issue amongst developers. Is this something that you guys potentially run into quite often where the models look the exact same? This is what I would like to know down below. Because if that's the case, we can then throw the allegations out the window and proceed on playing Power World. I do want to bring up one more thing because if you have seen one of my previous videos talking about this exact issue, I did not bring up pretty much reliable sources. There's also one more thing I would like to mention about that video specifically is that it did have a reliable source. And what exactly was that? There is proof that these developers are creating a NFT game and potentially releasing it sometime maybe next year or this year. So for some of you, this might be another turnoff because if you're not a huge fan of NFTs, and by the way, apparently it's still a thing. I know some of you in the previous video were like, wait a minute, NFTs are still around? Yeah, I guess so. I guess some people are still trying to push it. But this next game that they are creating is connected to some sort of blockchain, which does relate to NFTs. But to be specific, it's about blockchain. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of NFTs or anything with cryptocurrency, but if you are, kudos to you. Maybe this is something that you would like. So far, this is the proof that the developers have potentially been stealing some sort of assets. Hopefully not, because a lot of us do enjoy the game, but if it is stolen, then that's going to be a major, major upset. And a lot of us are going to be very upset with them as well. Honestly, I do find Power World quite enjoyable, but I will say that I did create critique it quite a lot at the beginning because I did not play it. Although once I did get my hands on it, it was kind of addictive because you were able to roam around, grab guns, collect loot. You know, basically it was like this big game that had all these like uh, ideas mashed together into one. This is why I believe a lot of players had fallen in love with this game because you were able to see pretty much different types of ideas from different games. You saw Zelda, you saw Pokemon, you saw I even had like little bits of hints of uh, Elden Ring and the only reason why is because there is a church there that's kind of like broken down. But uh, there's just various things like that that really brought the game out and made it look incredible. Yeah, Power World is not a terrible game at all. I think the ideas that were influenced from other games was a great idea because you actually created this gigantic like map in game and it's just it's awesome to see. But on the other side of the coin here, it's not so great to see that there's these allegations, that there is potentially some sort of proof here that they may have stolen assets. That's my only critique on the game, and I think that's the only thing that I did mention in the last two videos ago or whatever. Also, not to mention, that video that I had created was made at 3 o'clock in the morning. I had no sleep. So yeah, my words and everything was jumbled up. Even the sources and everything was just terrible. But this time, I have provided a pretty good video here. 
concrete proof it does seem but again i cannot say it because i'm not a developer did not compare the models just rinse and repeating that because you guys gotta know i'm just saying that these are allegations and i cannot prove it but this is what it does appear to be let me know what you think down below about this exactly if you have any questions comment down below thank you guys so much for subscribing and staying tuned with all that being said i will see you